Hello YouTube, LJ Draco here. Yes, so as you can tell by the title, this is another 3D print um, done by the same guy. Always going to be this guy. Trust his work. Now, um, <laughs> as I said in my last one, which was the Black Panther helmet, that the uh, that that's the biggest 3D print. Uh, but it's a helmet, so it would be. This is going to be, at, at the moment, I can say, is the biggest 3D statue. Um, and as you can tell, it's based on another DC product. Um, if I haven't put the name of what it is in the title, well, you'll know now. But if I have, then you'll already know who it is and what it's from. So, they're from DC. Now, when the guy sent me his, the picture for this one, I was completely blown away. And I instantly wanted it because of how awesome it looked. So without further ado, this is a Bane, uh, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, the work and detailing put into this. So what I'm going to do is I just I wanted to show it from this distance, just so you can actually see like all around. And what I'm going to do is to compare its sizes. Um, I'm actually going to do something now. I move this. I'm going to put the Batman uh, next to it. As you can see, like the height difference, and I'm going to put the pun. Oh gosh, I'm going to put the Punisher on this side, the Batman on this side, just so you can definitely see um, the height differences and stuff. And like, they may look like they're at equal level, but they're not. It actually slants down. He is still quite smaller, um, but compared to the Batman, this is more accurate scaling because Batman would be a lot smaller than the Bane, so that looks beautiful. Um, so I'm going to get into more detail on this piece. So I'm going to move these two out of the way. But also, yet again, due to uh, Kermit's Ghost, who says it's best to compare sizes next to a Blu-ray. That way you guys get the general idea of how huge this piece is. What better than to get the film that Bane is in. And um, just, yeah. So to get the overall size of Bane. Yeah, so... Let's move that out of the way. Let's go bring the camera in a bit closer. And we'll give this Bane a bit more of an in-depth look. So, let's, uh, oh, there we go. So, as you can see, the, the mask uh, detailing is beautiful. I actually I really, really love the nice shadowing on the muscles. I also like this. these green lines, the toxic um, like veins. They're not just this color, like, kind of painted straight on top. He's kind of made it blend in to where it, it looks like it's actually popping through the skin. Which is a very difficult technique for painters to do. And the fact that he pulled this off is brilliant. I absolutely love it. Um, but, oh, this is just... I love the, t the toning of the green he's used. Um, I also love this patterning on the side of the trousers here. Um, then you've got the back. You know, more patterning. I love the blue, like the bluish purple he's used for the gloves. I like the fact that he's got the nails. A different colour to the skin tone, which is awesome. Now, uh, one of the best parts about this is this base. So, let's get a look into this base. So, it's basically, as you can see here, there's two parts. So, I'll show from this side here. These are the hinges to what was the bat signal and how Bane has smashed through the bat signal standing on it showing his dominance of strength I love the nice metallic looks he's done to these the, the rusted metal looks um, it just looks absolutely beautiful this is a beast of a piece and I mean, just it's absolutely fantastic. So I'll move this camera back a bit just so you can get the whole bane in again. So, yeah, having him standing next to like the Batman or even as a kind of across from each other piece is quite nice. Um, like that, let me punish her around for a second, but just having that kind of display. Because it's kind of like that Batman is standing on a rooftop um, looking down at Bane as Bane has crushed through his bat signal. 
This is just, uh, these are, oh, I could kick the camera. <laughs> I love this guy's work, and I mean, as you can tell by now, I do. Mountain of prints I've bought from him, upcoming prints I'm going to be buying from him. I just, I love the detail this guy puts into his work, and I love the effort and the care. I mean, he told me yesterday that printing this statue caused a lot of issues for his printer. It kept sticking, like it kept sticking his printer like some issues um and i feel bad i feel really bad because I, I i like this guy's work and i don't want his like i don't want something bad to happen to his printer and stop him from printing but he said that um no he, he managed to finally get through it but he's done a fantastic job on this and uh, yeah i mean like i said having it on the shelf you can definitely see the height difference compared to all of the other prints and I mean, uh, yeah, he's just absolutely outstanding. I mean, all of his work is outstanding, but I absolutely love this. This, oh, I've got to bring it back in. I've got to bring it back in close. Let's uh, let's have a, have a look at that muscle definition. You know, like the nice shadowing, you know, the muscle toning. It's just, it's done so well. And I've got to say it, you know, I mean, I, I absolutely love the Batman. This was the first print that I actually bought from him. Um, I do love this Batman. But so far, uh, statue-wise, these two are my most favourite prints. Because he's used this kind of toning for the face. I love the, I love the absolute design of the Punisher as well. I think he's beautiful. Um, and these two so far are my favourites because just this... You can tell a lot more love, time, and passion went into these two. And, um, I mean, like I said, the Batman looks incredible. So, for the Batman to be incredible, and then, you know, there he is just staring at Bane from the distance. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else I can say that I haven't already said about this guy and his work because it's just, it's just mind-blowing. And I actually saw uh, that this, especially this model here, is actually um, the 3D print file was based off an actual statue that you can buy. And to be honest, I, I've seen that actual statue. And it doesn't look as good. And that's not just me trying to like, oh, like, kiss ass or anything. I'm just, I'm being serious. I've seen the actual statue this is based off of. And the paint job for it, it, it sucks. It's absolutely terrible. You know, and I'm like, eh. I didn't like it, but I, I absolutely love this. I, I, I think this is incredible. Um, I will continue buying this guy's work. I know that he's got a couple prints uh, coming up in the, in the near future. And I know for a fact I'm definitely going to be purchasing, well, one or both of those, depending on if they are both for sale. I know one is for definite. And it's probably going to be like my, um, as much as I love these guys, I think if this print is successful... It will probably be my, my like third favourite. Because at the moment my favourites are my Guyver Bust and my Black Panther Helmet. Um, out of all the 3D prints, those are my favourites. Um, I'd I say like fourth and fifth. I'd say sixth. But uh, no, I, this, this other one's coming up. I think I'd have to say that's going to be like my third favourite due to what it is. And if I, I know the guy, I trust him. He's going to make that one look fantastic as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, there we go. Just move Punisher out of the way. Have Batman stand next to him one more time, just uh, for the feel. And there we go. That is it. Oh, if you enjoyed this video and previous videos, don't forget to strike the like for future videos. And if you're new to my channel and you've only seen a couple of my videos, click that subscribe button down below. I'd surely appreciate it. Anyway, take care, you wonderful people, and I shall see you next time. Bye bye.